since I love that one so much. Yeah, we're going to go with, uh, let's see, let me make sure that I grab all my things. What the hell did I have to buy? Whatever, anyways. <laughs> uh, I didn't grab an extra of anything. I bought something. Okay, anyways, it was only 15 it's, bucks. It's for... charging you, though, for something that you don't remember buying? Yeah, it, it said buy for 15 bucks, and I don't remember picking up any extra items, but okay. Is it set to have you bring in the salt every time? Maybe that's what it is. Hmm. Yes, I, I am bringing in the salt again. So, the salt is an item that once you use it, you have to pay for it again next time? I didn't think that used to be the case, but so many things have changed now, I can't say for sure. Well, I don't I, know. I didn't think so. I thought that if you bought it... Yeah, I, I, it's another thing we'll have to look up, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, my audio went out for a little bit. Uh, th this yeah, headphone okay. actually has a little, like... There's an area where this headphone, if you touch it, it'll tell you how much time you have left on the battery. But it cuts out all other audio while it's doing that, and I actually touched that area. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Okay, now... We discovered last time the technique of being able to scout out for ghost orbs. But this is a small map, so I have a strong feeling that's not an option. I don't even think it'll have an indoor camera, to be honest. No, okay, we've got an outdoor camera, and it's the only one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cursed object. Alright. Then I will grab a camera, and I'm also bringing the thermometer. I will also grab a flashlight, thermometer, and, let's see, uh, for when I, uh, one of us does find the room, I will take a book. All right, I'm going to bring the EMF, since you're bringing a thermometer. This this house is small enough that I don't think we need to both bring one. Yeah. All right. All right. Ooh, we have fog today. Oh, Silent Hill. Yeah, that would have been a cool one for the school. What? <laughs> Temperature's going up. I already found the cursed object. It's a music box right there next to the picture of the kitty. Okay. Let's see. Temperature is still going up. So probably not the kitchen, then. Garage, the temperature is still going up. I'll keep an eye out for bone if I see it. Yeah, let me know if you do. Oh, I just found it. Oh, well, son of a bitch. All right. Well, that was fast. Yep, all right, we got uh, temperature still going the fog up. Let's see, da, da, da. how about here? Eh? Mm. Mm, bathroom? Bathroom? We got a shitting ghost again? No, okay. <laughs> all right, time to check. Oh, was that you? Doing what? Okay, that was not you. You were behind me. Okay, the ghost was coming out of the basement. The Are the you ghost... serious? Yeah, the ghost opened. I legit, I went to, gra okay, go. we've got it, we've got it, okay. You got it? What do you mean? Yeah, What's going on? Basement, basement, basement. Are you seeing the ghost? No, no, no. Well, okay, I'll explain it a little bit for now. Just set up. All right. All right. Uh, book as well. Book. Okay, I'm running up to grab more things and stuff. And stuff and things. I was going to say things and stuff. Yeah. No reason to have the lights running in here, so let's not. All right. Yeah, if we know it's the basement, which you seem pretty sure. Okay, so what happened was I went to open the door to go into the basement and the door, like, legitimately, I thought you were on the other side because the door opened right into my hand and I stopped it by left-clicking. Oh, okay. Let's see, I'm grabbing crucifix and salt. Well, wait, though, the ghost could be roaming, though. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the basement. The, ba the temperature went down in the basement. Uh, that could just be because the ghost passed through it. Remember, that's not definitive. Yeah, well, I've left the thermostat down there. All right, I'll go take a look. Yeah, I'm taking crucifix and I'm taking salt. Let's see, uh, crucifix, I'll deposit next to the book. The thermostat's not going down. It's at about 45 degrees. Yeah, that's normal. Well, I, I, I don't feel convinced. I'm going to keep exploring. But my, my uh, EMF has not gone off anywhere, though, including upstairs, so that's... Who's to say? I'm just gonna dump the fucking salt here. Ah, uh, you know, it's still between 5 and 10 Celsius. That's pretty cold, if you ask me. That's unusual cold to me. 
Yeah, but we know how that thing's been doing. It, it, it'll sit on the, the just above frozen to fuck with you. Mm. I heard footsteps upstairs, and, and in fact, the door just shut in front of me. Uh, you're upstairs? Yes, I, I had the door uh, shut in front of me towards the front door. Do you have a second thermostat on you? No, unfortunately. I didn't bring it specifically because it was such a small house. Yeah, I'm close shit. enough to the to the place or to the to the car or the truck. I'll just go grab one. Yeah, I I I grabbed the one. Of all, I'm also grabbing a glow stick. All right, I'm bringing the uh, thermostat in along with a glow stick. You said it was upstairs. Where at upstairs? Uh, it was in between the living room and the kitchen. That's the door that it closed. Okay, that is still quite close to the basement. Uh, uh, yeah, it could be. It's such a small house. It could be roaming around pretty much anywhere. Temperatures going up in the living room. Temperatures going up in the kitchen. Temperatures going up. I'll leave the thermostat here in the kitchen just in case. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, grace period insanity, by the way. Oh, I'm inside. I didn't think to look. Ah, well, whatever. We're, we're probably good. The, the grace period, I think, is either close to ending or just now over. Yeah, nothing with the glow stick. Oh, we've got, uh, have you, do you got the camera? Oh, salt. Yes, salt. I do. We got two salt steps, by the way. So okay, it's, so it's, it's been it's passing through. through. It's been walking through here a bunch. I think it's confirmed that it's this room. It's becoming likely. What's, oh, hello, hiss. I heard that too. Yep, and here's a ghost orb. Uh, sub five, uh, sub five temperature. Uh, let's see, has the fuse box been thrown? Uh, no. no. It hit the lights. Oh, it hit the lights? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Are you by, are you... Let's uh, see, yeah, I can I, check the fuse box right I now. Can tr I can flip, hit the light switch if you're more comfortable having the lights on. Uh, no, I just wasn't sure if the ghost, uh, hit him or not. No ultraviolet on any of the doors, and we know it's been passing through, so it would have probably touched them. Uh, hard, let's... Hard to say. I'm gonna go back for EMF. And it is, whatever. uh, it is, uh, I threw it upstairs on the radiator near the front door. Oh, okay, that you did. Now I'll chuck it downstairs then. Alright, it wouldn't hurt to bring the dots. No, no, uh, I probably should have, but whatever, I'm taking this downstairs. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll go grab them, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them next to the book, I guess, because we've got other things to bring in here. We've got yeah. a whole bunch of junk did, did, to bring did you, in. Did you hear me, uh, confirm that, uh, we had ghost orbs? Uh, yes, I did. So we've got okay. uh, ghost orbs is one bit of evidence we already have. Uh, we do need to check for dots. Uh, I have stolen two cans of spray paint. I will be taking it home with me. Oh, they're gonna hate that. Yeah, yeah. These are my spray. The ghost paint. is gonna be angry now. Spray. These are my spray paint. Easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I would like to buy a vowel. No, not Alex. I don't. Fuck I'm saying. <laughs> well, it used to be Alex. Oh, not Wheel a, of Fortune. Not right. on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Let's see. Spirit box and parabolic microphone. Uh, we don't have a parabolic microphone clue here. Uh, let me switch this shit over. Okay, the camera's sitting in. I've got the thing sitting on the camera. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go down with the spirit box. I'm going to start talking. Let's see. Is he, show, is he social or is he shy? Sanity is uh, 80% and the grace period is over. He is not shy. This is a this is a social ghost. Okay. This is a very social ghost, so I'm going to be going in there. I'm going to be giving him a good talking to. Going to have to turn the lights off in there, though. Can't go talking to him while the lights uh, are on. They're off currently, so you can just uh, stop on Fuse box down. went. Oh, it did. Okay, I'll go f I'll go get it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, We're in the basement anyways. Okay. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let me check. Uh, yeah, I think we can deconfirm freezing temperatures. It's just been sitting there. Okay, are we looking at ultraviolet, ultraviolet, ultraviolet? Please, please, please. No, fuck me. Okay, that's always a troublesome one, it is. Okay. You, you know, these last for certain... Oh, the, the door just... Are you here? Again. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Spirit oh, I box. Heard it. Spirit box. I'm dumping the shit. And he said in closing, which I found amusing. In closing? It was about to wrap up a seminar. 
Uh, what's the sanity like? Are you near the truck? Uh, I'm near enough that I can go into it. Yeah. It's shutting a lot of doors. It, it just ran up stairs and shut another door. This is it's very one... interactive. It hates doors. It, yeah, I've had it shut a door at least like three or four times now. Uh, well, we got a little bit of movement there. He fucked with the door. I'm going to grab the uh, glow stick. I should have grabbed the glow stick to begin with, really. All right. Sanity is at high 70s. You're uh, you're about 10 higher than I am for some reason. That's really weird. Ah, uh, you've been around him shutting a lot of doors. That's true, but you've hit a lot more... Uh... Oh, knocked over the camera. Knocked over the camera. That he did. Yeah. Though, uh, let's see. I see your feet. That you do. Ordinarily, <laughs> people have to pay for this sort of thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, no activity. Do you want to stay in the truck for a while? Keep peeping yeah, it for me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, uh, is the is the uh, basement light on though? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll need that off for me to see better. Yeah, I'll turn it off, especially because he's probably fine. gonna get angry about it eventually. He might. All right. Uh, da -da -da. if you see any activity, let me know. I will. Just relying yeah. on the orbs for the most part. Yeah, thinking I'm going to pull back to the truck. We might be able to put together a thing or two here, maybe. Hey, uh, at the moment, I don't think you need to, If you've already checked with the UV, I don't think you need to be down there. Yeah, I'm going to dump the UV anyways. I'm going to dump the uh, Geist meter. I'm going to dump it in front of the camera. Fuck it. <laughs> there you go, asshole. Directly in front of the camera. I can still see the dots, but that's funny. Uh, yeah, he, the, neither of them were doing anything for me. Okay. Did you check the notepad on the way back in or out? Fuck no, I didn't. Uh. I'm close enough, I'll do it anyways. Eh, just in case. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything on dots yet. Yeah, let's see. No writings. Mm, okay, so no writings, no dots. At least not, not yet. And again, by now they should have showed up. Unless they changed it, my one-minute rule is always used to be pretty ironclad. Anyway, my fat ass is already out of breath. Okay. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Well, we got a lot of movement around doors, but no ultraviolet or dots on those very same doors. Okay, yeah, so then we've proven that those... Well, we haven't proven yet, the ultraviolet. Because I'm still thinking that they can show up randomly, regardless if the ghost has touched Dodo or not. I'm not yeah. sure, though. It's so hard to say. Yeah, it's another thing I'd have to look up. And again, same with dots. Like I, like I keep saying, it used to be that if you'd watch it for a minute, you'd be able to eliminate. If a minute goes by and there's no dot activity, that means there's no dots. But that could have changed. Uh, I'm going to hit the journal. All right. Let's see. Uh, we can confirm. Uh, we can confirm orbs. We can deconfirm. We can de deconfirm freezing temperatures. We can confirm spirit box. That leaves either Mare or Yokai. Uh, hmm. Nightmare is more active when it's night or when it's dark. Or yes. it does something more when it's dark. And this one has been hitting the lights a fair bit. Uh, it has. That's true. That's true. If I remember right, it's more likely to turn them off. Uh, Yokai doesn't like noise, but we haven't been we haven't been using push to talk very much. No, I I, I haven't used it at all. Hmm. Well, let's figure out what we want to be looking for then. If it's mare or yokai, uh, the mare is. <clears throat> We're looking for ghost writing. If it's yokai, we're looking for dots. Both of these are ones that mm. we can very easily handle by just sitting our asses down. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I, I, all I can say is, once again, unless they've changed the dots, I, I, I think it's safe to rule it out. I've been looking at it for now for several minutes, and there's been none. Yeah, I think, I think that's, I think that's probably right on. I think we're looking at a mare. It seems to be going in that direction. I'll circle the mare for now. It's your question whether or not you want to wait for it to write in the book then and go take a picture of the book, or if you're comfortable just leaving now. Um, It's high enough that I'll go run in and see. I I, I think just a quick run. Unless it's a 60-level hunt ghost, we, we should be okay. Although, is there anything else I should bring in? Let's see. Uh, You know what? I'll bring a glow stick and just do a quick run while I'm down there, but I don't expect anything, so I won't linger. 
Yep. All right. What? And I know this location enough. I don't need the lights on. Well, it, it, there's no point in bringing the glow stick because the, it can't be ultraviolet. Uh, we're, we're sure even if we don't eliminate the dots. I mean, I'm comfortable eliminating the dots, but if we don't, could it still be UV lights? If you if you check Ghost Orb and Spirit Box and you do eliminate the um, you do eliminate freezing temperatures, then no, it can't. The ultraviolet can't be the remaining third. Okay, then I then I won't bother looking. I mean, I'll still check the the book, but uh... yeah, with the with the old camera. Yeah. Nothing on the book. I gotta say, the last it. couple times the spirit box has actually been astoundingly profitable. Uh, yeah, strangely enough. Uh, just for shits and giggles, I'm going around with the UV anyway, because I'm right here, and yeah, nothing. Alright, well, yeah, nothing, no changes. Uh, the thermometer, I checked it again, just in case, uh, that's still, like, right at about 33 degrees. Alright, I thought I was being funny with the, uh, but you are still down there, right? No, I'm coming right out. Alright. Well, I say let's pick Maryland's haul ass. Yeah, I, I at the moment I, I I think that's probably the most likely guess. Let's see how many pictures did I get. Oh, let me. I can hear your Mary. thoughts. <laughs> oh, oh, this is weird. Okay, what? hang on. I've noticed what? a texture bug. Uh, uh you're, so, you got. Oh, go ahead. So the fog is fucking with your character's hair. All right, what's it doing? Your character, okay. <laughs> so your hair is partly like, okay. You know how the trick is that your hair is like actually a separate model that's just attached to your head. That's usually the case, yeah. Yeah, that the separate model hair is actually mostly translucent. <laughs> so uh, that's like, not happening with you. Hang on, what if I stand out here though? Come look Let's at me see. if I'm out here. Uh. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, a little bit of your hair is, is uh, like, shadow. Yeah. yeah, it's sticking out a lot more on you than it is on me, because your character's a redhead, my character's got black hair. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm I'm picking, uh, yeah, Mare. Yeah. Man, all those door pictures I took a shot of, none of them, none of them worked. The I guess cage. the doors don't count as interactive anymore, what? The rib cage was embedded into the side of the bathtub. It, it was sitting on top of it. <laughs> oh well, the photo on my end uh, is. It looks like it's like. It, it looks like someone has jammed the edge of the bathtub between the ribs. I I sort of yeah like I I I can see how it appears that way. <laughs> All right, have you circled mare? Yeah. Let's see. No matter what, we're turning a profit on this one. True. It was the mayor. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Let's see how much XP I got. Only a hundo. Well, eh. Oh no, wait. That's 200. weird. I got like two hundred and fifty. Maybe because of the pictures. Oh yeah, I got, I got, I got two hundred fifty. I got two hundred fifty. I spoke too soon. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. Let's see detailed statistics on that one. Let's see. Total sanity lost thirty-two percent. That is quite a bit, but I did talk to him. Oh yeah, I guess that'll that'll have an effect. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was in the ghost room for only three, uh, almost four minutes. That means that most of the time it was not in the ghost room this time. Uh, no, time in favorite room, 14 minutes and 49 oh, wait, seconds. Right. I, I, you're right, you're right. I was looking at our statistics, not the ghost statistics. Yeah. That would have been a very active ghost. Eh? Yeah. I'd, I'd have been mixed up like, okay, if, if it was out of the ghost room that long, how did I talk to it through the spirit box, and how did it get the salt? Right. Yeah, it was only out of the favorite room for about a minute. But yeah, see, it, it opened eight, or it moved eight doors. Out of its 20 interactions, eight of them were doors. That's funny. Yeah, it was really going crazy with the doors. It hates them. <laughs> hates it. Now, now it's presumably been exercised, but nonetheless. Yeah. Rip in peace, literally. Yeah, I suppose so, huh? Yep. All right, I've geared us up. Uh, let's go for another small map. You thinking uh, Tanglewood or Willow? Yeah, oh, I was going to say Tanglewood. We were just on Willow, so let's do Tanglewood. Tanglewood, let's ready up. Let me 
go to next, and then ready. Okay, then. Let's rock and yeah, roll. Tank, Tangwood's my other two favorite. I, I also like one of the one of the farmhouses a lot, the one that does not have that weird attic situation, but uh, my two definite favorites are uh, this one and the one we were just on. Yeah. The two little houses. They're, they're, I just like the layout. I like the size. Yeah. I will say it's funny the difference between us, because I'm not so much for the uh, spookifying, scarifying aspect. I'm more for the detective aspect. <laughs> so so for you, single player, this game this must be, well, not only terrifying, but the fun because it's terrifying. For me, uh, yeah. turning on single player, it's just like, oh, let's see if I, how much I can dick around without actually going in the place. <laughs> yeah, for me, part of the fun is hiding from the ghost and uh, having it become more active and uh, making spooky appearances. Okay, I'm taking thermostat and book. Okay, uh, then I will take the camera, the dots, and uh, the, uh, let's see, I'll take both types of camera. Okay. Key, and open that door. Alright. Go, go, go! <laughs> FBI, open up! We're coming hey, in! Hey, motherfucker, don't you fight me over this. Do what? What'd you say? I said, the door seemed to be resisting, so I said, hey, oh. motherfucker, don't you fight me over this. I, that's what I thought you said, but I wondering, I was wondering what you were referring to, and that makes My sense. My God, could you imagine if again I happened to, like, be fucking with the same door the ghost was? <laughs> that would have been right away, too. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we could get a more instant discovery. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I found the, uh, the uh, uh, rib bone already right away. A rib cage! <laughs> Jesus. No coal. Nobody. No movement. No freezing. I'm starting to turn a little bit into fucking Doc Brown there, but anyways. Marty! Marty! <laughs> Not seen that movie, but I know. I know the Doc Brown. It's so good. It is. It's, 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 it's such a good movie. Oh, I meant the Doc Brown voice, but nonetheless, yeah, I should probably oh, well, see that thank movie. You then. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a really good movie. Just a fun movie. It, it's inventive, cute. It, it, it's a good time. It's always been on the list, but I've just never got around to it. I've never, I've just either never been on the right streaming service or any time that I am on the right streaming services, it's always like, well, I'll get to it. I'll get to it when I've got like the right family around or yada yada and just never yeah. goes to pass. It's understandable. Uh, garage drops. Garage drops. It's the only garage is the only room where I've been getting any drops whatsoever. So I'm going to put the thermometer down and the book. Okay, not a bad idea. Let's see. I'm gonna put the thermometer down like so. And oh, I don't put see. don't don't just dump the book on the floor like an asshole. And put, put it down <laughs> and leave it open for him to write on. Oh, he turned off the lights in the living room. Let's see. Is it fuse box? I'm oh, right probably. by it. So I'll turn it on. Yeah, the yeah, fuse is off. Yep, fuse box, okay. Let's go grab what we can from the trailer. Do, 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 do. I've only now noticed this is a box truck and not a semi-truck. I never really thought to look at it before. Uh, crucifix, and have you grabbed EMF? Uh, no, I have not. Okay, well, I'm going to grab Spirit Box anyways, because Spirit Box has actually been pretty successful so it's far. It's been good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now that we know how it fucking works... But weren't you doing the same thing that you're doing with it now, but it just wouldn't give voices before? Ah, uh, we were roaming from room to room instead of staying in the ghost room. Ah, uh, okay. All right, let's dispense the cru crucifix upon the floor. Are you I here? I guess so. Oh. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Can we help? Can we help? Are you here? 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 Can we help? 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 Are you here? Are you here? All right, I'm saying this one's a no-go. If he ain't responded uh, yet, he ain't going to. Are you that sure? What I mean, I think it's more of a time-based thing than than a repetition-based thing. I th it's a repetition-based thing. It's response rate. How how are you sure? That's what it says in the store. So so it's the amount of times you say, not 
like what does it say in the store that i'm like I, I believe you if that's what you read like help me understand what what, what does it say well it, the chance of it responding has a certain like it says like the chance of responding yada yada I've, i'm taking salt glow stick uh it says the chance of responding and the response rate on the crappy default spirit box is low so just walk around the room for a few minutes asking and if you don't get nothing for those few minutes then move on okay uh, we are still in the we are still in the uh, the setup phase though. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Well, if we can get a beat before the setup phase, then my god. Oh, I just don't know if it'll if it'll activate it all before the setup phase. I, I don't everything know. else will. Look up. Yeah, I mean you're not wrong. Uh, is is the garage light on? Uh, I've got it turned on. Yes. Oh, okay. I've, yeah, I'm, I'm watching through the through the uh, video camera. Okay, I've got two salts set up. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's already stepped in one. How about that? Okay. Zippity fucking doodle. We got the pictures. Well, quite, that. quite likely in the in the garage. Yeah, and he's not stepped in the one. I put one between in the doorway between the garage and the laundry room, and he's not stepped in there. Ah, uh, okay. Let's can, see. Can uh, you uh, before you leave the garage? Could you hit the light? Uh, trying to get coverage of the fucking ultraviolet, but I'll just dump the ultraviolet here. Okay, yeah, I'll come out. No, I mean, you can keep walking with ultraviolet. I just when you're on the way out, I just need the light off so I can see the dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have not seen orbs yet anywhere. Yeah, orbs. I think we can safely eliminate orbs. What's the uh, setup time left still? Uh, it just ran out like a few seconds ago. Okay. Uh, I don't want to rule out orbs yet, though. You're 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 going really fast on ruling stuff out. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't want to rule out orbs or dots, but. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's a glow stick. Ah, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go back in. I'm gonna check. Yeah, we're we're in. we're doing really well, I think. Yeah, because thermostat. Like, what's sanity at? Uh, let me look. Sanity is uh, about eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna check uh, book and uh, thermostat. Okay. And... Are those both just inside the garage? Yeah. In case I need to look later. Okay. Yes, uh, they are right next to each other. Book is untouched. Thermostat is way fucking below zero. It is extra oh, fucking okay. freezing in here. Extra yeah, fucking frigid. I'll check that then. Uh, nothing on ultraviolet at all. Uh, I'll ask the spirit box a couple questions. Are 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 you here? Oh, yep. Okay, spirit box. Immediate spirit box result. Wow. I okay. told you. See, I told you not to rule them out so quick. God damn. How about that? Okay. All right. Two well, that's three. that's two out of three, yeah. So I'm gonna dump ultraviolet and I'm gonna head on back to the truck and we're gonna play detective. All right. What did the ghost say this time? Could you make it out? Uh, I don't even remember what I asked it, so I couldn't fucking tell you. <laughs> it spoke. It spoke with a higher pitched voice this time. Interesting. Let's see. All right. Uh, you got uh, peepers on the camera. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna open up the journal. We're gonna check off. Freezing temperatures, and we're going to check off a uh, spirit box. That leaves Moroi Onryo Twins Mimic, and you said no ghost orb, right? I have not seen any yet. Yeah, yeah, this is... I mean, it's likely they'd be in the garage, since everything else has been in the garage. Oh, it's definitely the garage. He's not, he's not, uh, he's not stepped out of the garage. The salt that I, I put a oh, salt... Oh, right, but the salt, yep. There's That's one right. door leading out of the garage. I have salt covering it, and it's been untouched. Yeah, it, it's definitely that. It's in its favorite room, then, for sure. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, plus the freezing temperatures. Yeah, that is, so we can rule out ghost orbs, then. Yeah, ghost orbs, and you haven't seen the dots even slightly shift? I haven't seen anything on the dots. Yeah, I'm I'm leaning towards eliminating those. Yeah, ghost orbs, I think we can safely eliminate. They Like, a ghost orb pops up every second or two. Like we can uh, look... a Actually, in fact, with freezing temperatures and spirit box confirmed, it can't be dots. Okay. So, so yeah, I'll get rid of that. Okay, and if we eliminate Ghost Orb, that means no Mimic. So it's Moroi or Twins. We've run into this situation before. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. I, 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 I what, uh, how do we eliminate Mori? Uh, no, I, I didn't eliminate Moroi. Oh, okay. So I, on mine, I have Mori, Twins, and Mimic. Which one of those did you yeah. get rid of? Uh, Mimic, because Mimic, Mimic, remember, always has Ghost Orbs no matter what. Ah, uh, okay. Even if so you check twins off, and more eye, then. even if you eliminate ghost orbs on the evidence list, that still leaves mimic there for some reason. Okay, they they probably yeah, should weird. do something about that. Yeah, it's messing with my head.
I think the mimic is going. I think the mimic fucks a lot of people on the evidence just simply because the evidence form is listed mildly incorrectly. That's true. All right. Uh, so writing ultraviolet and EMF. I'm gonna go in there with the EMF. Oh, you well, got it. Well, first, first let's check. Oh, uh, I... First, let's check what twins and Morai we need to look for because there's one we can eliminate. There's one evidence we can eliminate just simply because there's all there's three evidence types left, but there's only two ghosts left. Not true. Moroi is ghost writing, and twins are uh, EMF. So we don't need to look for ultraviolet because neither. Wait. Uh, yeah, we don't need to look that for. Right. Yeah, we don't need to look for ultraviolet because neither twins nor Moroi have ultraviolet. All right, then I'm going in there with the EMF. Yeah, and, and you can check. Looks like that's all I need. Check the book when you're in there. Yeah, I will. Oh, I need a flashlight though. Yeah, that would be. Well, I don't really need one, but yeah, I, I should bring one. This is actually the first time I'll be going in there with it. Yeah, I'll keep. I'll peep. Uh, I'll peep the camera. Uh, you know, I should peep the activity if you're going in with the EMF. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the old uh, peripheral vision trick. I'm gonna be able to do both. All right. Uh, book. What's the book looking like? Hang on, I just threw something. All right. Uh, the book is nothing. EMF. 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 Check EMF. I got it on just now. What's it looking like? Oh, God, like four and a half. Oh, Fuckers. Geez. Oh, it hit five. It hit five. Okay, get out of there. We're clear because that. It is. Yep. All right, Scarper. It didn't stay on five for very long, but it did hit it. I guess that's all that counts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have more experience with the MF than I do. Uh, oh. It went to five for like a second or two, so I think that's enough. Yeah, I'd say it is, because we've left the book in there for fucking ever, and it hasn't touched it. That's also true. So, yeah, let's uh, EMF level 5. That leaves the twins. Well, we, right. didn't, we didn't see him fucking with any other rooms, but sometimes the twins just fucks around a lot in one room. You know, that? yeah, that's hard to say. I thought that the twins were always in two different places, but I'm not familiar enough to say that with any certainty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, I, I mean, it, it definitely did reach EMF 5, so I'm, I'm confident that it, I think we got everything else. Yep. Oh, did you set twins? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Twins it is. All right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're kicking ass now. Yeah, I was worried for a second because the Moroi has fucked us before, but. Yeah. Ooh, this was a very good one. Four hundred dollars. Who? Oh. Yeah. And four hundred XP. So I leveled yeah, up. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, I did as well. Now I have access to salt. Go ahead. Intermediate difficulty, the tripod, and five hundred bucks. Oh, good deal. Okay. All right. We'll have just... to debate whether we want next time we play. We'll have to debate whether we want to do intermediate. It might be too fast to jump, but we'll make more money. I guess it depends on our style. Whether we feel confident enough. Well, I can say on the ones where we got wrecked pretty hard, I think we would be wrecked harder. But on the ones where we've cleared it, I think we wouldn't have to be wor have to worry about it. Like, I yeah, think the good experiences we've had on Tanglewood and Willow, I think we still would have beat on intermediate. <laughs> yeah, I, to my memory, the the most uh, worrisome changes are the um the the fact that some of the hiding spots are obscured and the fuse box starts off. But usually you can just go straight to the fuse box and, and turn it on. That's fine. I'm not and worried about the hiding spots because so far, right. anytime there's been a hunt, like how, how many of, like, I think we've had, I've once survived a hunt, you've once survived a hunt. Other than that, every hunt we've had, it has been more or less instant, like, oh, we're in the haunt dead. Yeah, yeah, th there's not been a situation to where hunt began and we ran and hid and then survived. That th Those uh, circumstances have not been satisfied. Okay, I'm looking at the tripods now to give us, a, give us a preview of the next time. Tier 1 tripod already not only is placeable to give you height on the camera, but it also already lowers the knockdown chance from high to medium. Oh, good. And the then Tier 2... Uh, and tier three, okay, tier two, the knockdown chance stays at medium. The knockdown chance does not go to low until tier three tripod. But at tier two, importantly, the tier two tripod pod gives rotation control. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. That's nice. Yeah, that, that's very nice. And since I'm at tier, since I'm at a level 11, I'm at level 10, the next level we will unlock uh, the sound sensor. Which that's one that's actually one bit of UI in the uh, 
And yeah, it's on the in the truck. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a tripod now that will be taken into missions as well. Okay. And I'm sitting on four thousand dollars even after having already bought the tripod and the salt. Oh, as am I. Yes, four thousand one hundred and one. We're doing pretty good then, uh, as far as uh, should we die and even lose some of our equipment. We're we're getting to that point where we have enough money to cover it. Yeah, yeah, and Without like too much concern. Yeah, Pink's every now and then bought a little bit to cover it, but I think you and Pink are both pretty good for money. If I wind up dying on one of these missions. Yeah, yeah, you just happen to get in the the habit of bringing your equipment, and so just I haven't been bringing anything, so I, I've still got plenty of money because of that. It kind of makes sense strategically, especially if once you get up to, like, four people. It kind of makes sense strategically to just have one dude sit in the van the entire time and have him be the one who buys all the gear. Yeah, if you have enough people to wear... Well, and if you have somebody willing to just spend all their time hanging out in the van, yeah, there is strategic advantage to it. That's true. Oh, hell, I'd hang out in the van if that was, all the time if that was a choice, but as it is, we need more hands on deck. Right. For me, it's a detective game. That, I mean, that's true. That's right. Yeah. For for me, a lot of the for for me, the funnest is is obviously yes, when you are getting some of the detec detective stuff uh, ironed out, like finding evidence and stuff like that. But also, I love that. See, for some reason, we've been getting hit a lot with with uh, either nothing's been happening or we get to hunt hunt level stage. You know, hunt 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 sanity. Um, usually, at least when I play, maybe this is more of a single player thing. I don't know, but usually you will have more situations like where you will see the ghost, like when you were up stairs in willow and it looked at you for a few seconds remember that yeah yeah me and him had yeah. a fucking texas texas standoff right yeah in my experience that happens more frequently or at least that kind of stuff happens more frequently than it's been happening so far when all of us have been playing together like i'm usually having that happen at least once every couple of games or you'll hear the ghost humming or whatever not a lot of that's been going on yet it's either been kind of quiet and then hunt or quiet and no hunt you know Okay, it's occurring to me, like, like you said, we're going to have to talk about what difficulty we want to set yeah. uh, next time, especially if Pink's there. But it occurs to me now, the way we could split things up, with me bankrolling the uh, stuff, what it could be is, when we try intermediate difficulty, the strategy we have is you and Pink check the place out, and during the grace period from the start, I'll be just ferrying junk from the truck into the, op into the entering room, entrance room of any given place. Well, that's not a bad idea. And f after the grace period ends, I just camp out in the truck and I just I just play tech support. Well, not tech support, but I just play support. I mean, if you're cool with doing that, that's up to you. I would think that that would be boring after a while, but I mean, I'm I'm the complete opposite. I think that sounds awesome watching maps and shit. Oh, okay. I I got no problem with that. I mean, again, I I when we first started, I thought, well, it'd be it'd help if somebody stayed in the truck a little bit, but I didn't want to assign that to anybody because I thought that that wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, see, I've, I'm sitting here, I'm the weirdo that played Metal Gear Solid, and I was like, man, what's it like being the colonel? <laughs> well, now you can hang out and look at look at various levels and uh, cameras, and, I, you know, there would be some fun to that, for sure, yeah. I, 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 Me, personally, I wouldn't want to do that all the time, but I would definitely think it'd be fun to do sometimes. Uh, especially on the prison or the school or any of the really big maps, like in the van. That's, right. Like, on those maps, the guy in the van has his fucking hands full with that huge ass, like, not only having to keep track of the various players on the various parts of the map, but also having to keep track of those 30 different cameras. Right. Yeah, I, I could I could picture a situation like, you know, me and, let's say me and Pinker, like, checking something out, and then you say something like, okay, wait a minute, it's over. I just saw activity over in this room over there. You know, you might want to go check it out, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and as we get at the higher levels, then there's a decent chance that there's... Well, the ghost... Once you get to the higher levels, the ghost moves its favorite room, doesn't it? Um, yes. I think it starts at in hard mode. It has a chance to move, I, I think. And then at Nightmare, I think it's a guaranteed uh, chance. Yeah, when you run into that, then you're definitely going to want somebody in the van. Yeah, I don't... I, honestly, I don't even know how... I mean, obviously, I know how the game would work, but it seems like it'd be so much more difficult with that circumstance. I, it's hard to know how how it would play out. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking there are some people that the way they play the game, honestly, is just go in deliberately, start a hunt, and try and figure out from the hunting tactics what ghost it is. I'm sure some people do that. Yeah, I mean that's that's why one of the options of the cursed object is to try and use it to trigger a hunt. You know, some people want to know right away. Like if the cursed object is a mirror, if you look in the mirror, it will show you a view of what the the, the haunted room is. 
or the oh. favor room, I guess maybe I should say. Yeah. Um, but again, the, the the downfall, though, is that it either like drops your sanity significantly or it triggers a hunt, like one of the two. We'll have to look it up again. More more stuff to learn. All right. Well, yeah. Now, let me cut this recording then. All the with the education we have just received. 